hey, welcome aboard. I'm Chip Dobson. I'm a volunteer docent and the chief gunner's mate with the Living History Crew here aboard the battleship USS Alabama. We want to thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel. Now, over the years, a lot of formal interviews have been done with crew members when they were here on reunions. There were also a lot of informal interviews, just crew members walking around the ship with guys like me telling sea stories. What we'd like to do now is try to share some of those sea stories with you, the way we heard them from the guys who lived the history. So this is a story we heard from one of our World War II crew members who was here on a reunion one year. We were walking around listening to sea stories, and the guy tells us about a story when they were having a meal in this compartment back here. Now this is our office now, but it used to be a mess compartment. So the sailors were in here having a meal, and in walked a Marine carrying a rifle. And we don't know why this guy was walking around with a rifle, but he was. And he was probably gonna show his Navy buddy that M1. All right, now, sailors in boot camp trained with a 1903 Springfield rifle, which is a bolt action rifle. So they were all pretty interested in seeing this new M1 rifle. So we figured this guy was probably quoting out of his rifle manual. This is a M1 rifle. This is a 30 caliber semi-automatic gas operated air cooled shoulder fired weapon that weighs eight and a half pounds. This weapon fires from an eight round internal magazine loaded through the open bolt. This Marine jacks the bolt open on his rifle, produces a clip of live ammunition and loads a rifle. He closes the bolt and hands that rifle to his Navy buddy. This guy's sitting down at a bench and he lays the rifle across his knees and they fail to engage the safety. So you know what's gonna happen. This guy's fiddling around with this rifle and he's touching the trigger and he fired the rifle. The round penetrated the bulkhead, steamed off the coffee pot, crossed the passage and went through the other bulkhead right behind that watertight door. Now the good news is nobody got hurt. The bad news is the only casualty was the ice cream machine on the guidon. Navy coffee. You know this is an 80 gallon coffee pot, 80 gallons. There's three of these on this deck, one here and two over in the main galley. Now, this coffee pot would have a lid clamped on it, so when you want to make coffee in an 80 gallon container here, you turn on the water, you fill it up with 80 gallons of water, turn off the water, turn on the steam, and that 500 degree steam going through the double bottom of this coffee pot here heats the water up. Now, take 20 pounds of coffee, put it in the cotton sack, drop it down in that boiling water and let it steep. Now when that coffee is ready, it would be dispensed down here through these spigots at the bottom. The guys who didn't have a coffee pot in their own compartment would come here and they'd bring a carafe or a pitcher. Some guys would even bring a clean bucket that they would use to dispense the coffee. You know, with 2,500 men on board this ship, all of them drinking coffee, do you ever wonder how many gallons of coffee and how much coffee it takes to make enough coffee for one meal? One of our crew members, Mr. Mizell, is gonna tell you just exactly how it was done. This was a, a, a unique experience in the fact that each time we prepared coffee, it was four coppers like this, each containing 80 gallons, and for a total of 320 gallons. And for each copper, each one of these containers, we used 20 pounds of coffee. So for one meal, we would use a total of 80 pounds of coffee for making a, a meal, preparing a meal. Okay, so this is the ice cream machine that took the round from the accidental discharge we were talking about. It's interesting about ice cream. Battleships, aircraft carriers, and submarines had ice cream machines on board, and there's an interesting little tidbit, a little story about ice cream. 
Uh, when a, an aviator was lost at sea or shot down and in a raft and was rescued, a lot of times the destroyers were involved in making that rescue. When that destroyer brought that na aviator back to the ship, to the aircraft carrier, the carrier had to pay a ransom of five gallons of ice cream for the safe return of their aviator. So when the ship had been freshly provisioned, there was plenty of fresh milk to make ice cream. But as time went on and the fresh milk was used up, they made ice cream with powdered milk. That made the ice cream a little gritty, but that didn't stop the guys from enjoying a ice cream sundae or a Coke float every chance they got. After all, this is a ghee dunk. All this is still here, so why don't you come and enjoy it with us? The ship is open seven days a week, 364 days a year. We're closed on Christmas, so come and see us.